Welcome back. I have a listener's question that you're going to want to hear. The question is, what do I do when I'm asked for proof of funds? What do I do when a broker is saying, show me your POF, proof of funds? And I've got actually four answers for that. Hi, my name is Adam Adams. I'm the host of the Creative Real Estate Podcast. I own hundreds of doors. I am a multifamily investor and the host of a great podcast and the host of a really, really popular meetup group. And today I've got a listener question. Uh, the listener wants to know what you're supposed to do when a broker actually asks you for proof of funds. And the four answers that I have is number one, they shouldn't be asking you. You need to control the conversation. So how do you do that? The he or she who asks the question controls the conversation, okay? So if you're the one asking the questions and qualifying them, don't let them qualify you. Uh, that's going to help a lot in building your credibility. So speak with confidence. Be the one to ask the questions. You need to basically qualify them, ask them a whole bunch of questions, and then say, okay, I think we can work together. And when that's the case, they're probably not going to ask you for proof of funds because they're probably going to know that you are active in doing the business. Okay, number two, learn the lingo. Okay, so uh, the second way that you can not get asked uh, if you're going to have a proof of funds is by being able to use the correct terminology. So you want to be able to know stuff like market cap rate. You want to know stuff like um, market vacancy rate. What is an LOI, letter of intent? What's a va value play, a uh, value add, um, a reposition? What is a yield play, a cash flow play, um, a stabilized play? What, is, what does stabilized mean? Uh, is it 85% occupancy, 90% occupancy? Does it have anything to do with the occupancy? This is important stuff that you need to know ahead of time. What is agency debt? So you need to be talking about the, what types of debt that can go on this. So uh, who are you gonna use for the loan? You have to have this information ahead of time. If you're using the right lingo, and you've learned the right lingo, then you're gonna be totally fine, okay? Number three, if you have POF, just send it to them, okay? So no biggie. If they ask you for POF and you've got proof of funds and you have enough money in the bank, just show it to them. Number four, and the most important one, the one that you all waited for is you can co-sponsor, okay? So what that means is maybe if you don't have the liquidity to qualify for a $4 million loan, then maybe you can partner with somebody who can. So if you've done, if you've done badly with the first uh, two or three things and you have somehow not added the credibility to that broker and they still are afraid that you can't close so they need proof of funds, now is the time when you go ahead and reach out to another person that's doing multifamily that have, has done more than you and say, hey, Adam, do you have liquidity to qualify for a $4 million loan? If Adam says, yes, I do, then you say, hey, I want help taking this property down. Show the, my broker your proof of funds and we'll do this together, okay? So there's your four answers. What happens when some uh, broker asks you for proof of funds? You either aren't controlling the conversation enough. He who asks good questions controls the conversation or you're using bad language. You're just not using the proper language with that broker that they need to hear you using some very specific key terms. And uh, number three, if you got the POF, just show it to them. Number four, partner up with somebody and you'll go farther and further. Uh, thank you so much for listening and we will talk to you guys later. <laughs>